Okay, everyone, we're back with the Shark Vertex Cordless and Kitty. We're gonna be using this machine to clean my downstairs. I've added some dirt. I wanted to see how all the duo clean works, so I took some cat food crumbs and put them on the floor. There was some cookie fragments. Those are natural. Some dust and dirt here and there. The floors aren't super dirty. I got this a little earlier than I was expecting because they're really hard to get right now. I looked on Amazon, they didn't have them. And Bed Bath & Beyond was hit or miss, which is where I got it from because I can use the 20% off and get the machine a bit cheaper. But uh, let's begin. To enable cleaning, you just, well, you need two hands, and then you just press the button. You really need two hands for this, but we did it with one. Now, listen to that power head. This is regular power. See the pet hair, it tackles that with ease. Sounds like a pretty powerful motor. Let's pull Max. One of those situations where the vacuum itself is quiet, but the power head is loud. Look at this. The duo clean roller looks pretty cool on camera, I will say. See how the hair is starting to pick up already. Another kitty. Really good swivel. Almost as good as a Dyson. Pretty impressive. It's a piece of hair right there. <clears throat> Tackles it instantly. See all the hair starting to build up in the dirt bin. I'm really interested to see the litter pan. I can waste battery. We're going to turn it off. I'm going to do a quick test. I'm going to vacuum half of this on low power and half of it on high. One pass. Regular. All right. So I'd say a very, very slight improvement on high power. Absolutely not worth the battery life. The less battery life, though. Because as you can see, it tackles that dirt extremely well. Better than a lot of corded vacuums. But, you know, it's battery powered this time. 
Look at that. It's almost clean. Then let's quickly hit max. Besides being harder to push, <laughs> I don't really see a major value in max. I mean, it has its use and it's there. But thankfully, you can just quickly pull this trigger and hit max and then go off max as you need it. I think Shark did that so people don't do what they do in some vacuums and turn max on and leave it there the whole time and quickly drain their battery and then complain the battery life is bad even though they're using max and getting a 5% increase in performance for a third of the battery life. Shark's idea of turn on and stay on but max is on a trigger, it's a good idea. I will be demonstrating the multiplex today hopefully. Cleaner head sounds powerful. It's the battery gauge. Okay, the carpets are clean, hard floors. Edges clean. So we have this big mess right here. On low power, will it be able to handle this? Dang. Sounds like something stuck in there. And that broke it loose. Carpet. bin is getting a little full, but thankfully this bin is larger than that of the corded version for whatever reason. This thing is really good. Like it tackles dirt better than a lot of upright backs do. And as you saw, all those tacks that I quickly just showed you there were performed on low power. Even vacuum more showed that low power and high power got the exact same uh, deep clean result. This validates what I'm talking about as in max is for maybe using the tools and sucking up a big pile of dirt. But it doesn't really seem to have much of a major advantage on low power, or sorry, on actual cleaning. The advantage is minimal to stick with low power for general cleaning. And my home relies more on the design of the cleaner head than the overall suction produced by the motor. So this is where we're gonna demonstrate multiflex. I'm gonna hit the multiflex button and make sure not to accidentally click it back in. I really don't wanna accidentally drop this vacuum. Whoa, that really pulls. Dang, that is cool. for the multiflex version. Look at this.
gonna quickly show y'all, y'all, whoops, something. You can see the size of the soft roller on the cordless versus the corded. You can clearly see it's bigger in this quick shot right here. I don't see any more dirt, so we're done. It's battery life, two bars left. Been running for about 10 minutes. Let's see what we picked up. Give me just a second. All right, so there's a ton of pet hair in the dirt bin. Kitty litter on the bottom. Let's check the filters. Top filter is perfectly clean. Bottom filter. Dang. So that's cleaner than on the corded model. There is, I'm sure you can see the one, two, three, four, where the dirt comes up. And I get why they do that. Instead of having one hole in the center, right where the motor is, right, right there. And that would just block the hole to the motor. They have four on the outside. And then the one where the motor is, the suction, where the motor pulls through is still open so it doesn't lose suction as fast as the filter gets dirty so that is much better results than the corded mun really impressive see there is some hair stuck in the cyclone right right there so when you open this, it dumps the cyclone out too. So I'm gonna go empty this and I will see you next time with more videos. Let me know what you think about this and I'll see you next time, goodbye.